Hey guys, uh, I have today off and have some plans to do some running around. So I thought it would be fun to maybe do a weekend vlog, try it out. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to get dressed. I have to run and pick something up from a town near me. And then I'm going to get breakfast for me and my dad. And then we will go from there. So I will see you guys soon. The morning has passed. I have had breakfast with my dad. I ran and got the stuff that I needed to pick up. It's actually right here. <laughs> it's ladder ball, which I grew up calling it hillbilly golf. And when I said that to somebody, they're like, what are you talking about? So, editor Jenna, I will send you a picture of what ladder ball, or as I call it, hillbilly golf looks like. And you could insert it here. And my subscribers can let me know if it is something you guys have ever played if you've ever heard of it and if you have what do you call it because I grew up calling it hillbilly golf <laughs> yeah the plan for today I'm in my car Gideon it's incredibly windy here today but it's beautiful outside so I decided that I did not want to stay cooped up in my house and I am going to go to second and Charles um maybe Goodwill and a like local thrift store that we have here to see if I can find any books and then I'm gonna come home I'm gonna try to film a wrap-up so that you guys can see that it'll be out before this is I am gonna take my dog with my dad later to get a bath and get his nails done if you don't follow me on Instagram uh, then you probably haven't actually yes you have he made a beautiful cameo in my Sister Picks My TBR video with his pig, which unfortunately died. Um, he broke the squeaker inside, so it doesn't make that noise anymore, but he still loves it wherever it is. I don't know. Anywho, but Arlo, we're going to take him, and then I take him um, by my work. I work at a bank. And the girls all love him, so I might take him in there so that they can see him. We'll see how it goes. Um, but then I have a very exciting meeting today at 4.30 about some book stuff. And I will let you know as that progresses. We'll see where it takes us. If it's something I can talk about, we'll see. But I do have a meeting today. And then I will be working on some box stuff for faith and fiction book box my subscription box that i started i'm gonna try to get some stuff ready for our june box and i think that's it i think that's the plan for today i'm gonna try to enjoy as much as i can of this beautiful weather and get things done and take you guys along with me so off to the bookstore <laughs> done at Goodwill um I didn't film inside just because meh <laughs> but it ended up being a lot more successful than I thought it was going to be I was in there longer than I planned to be but that's okay I always am so I'll show you the books that I got and then show you the other things that I got as well because why not I got capital gains from chip games chip gains in the Ford it's by Joe and I love this couple. They're the cutest thing. I don't think I have this one. I don't remember. I know that I have the Magnolia story. But I don't remember if I ever found Capital Gain. So super nice condition. I picked it up. Thought I'll read it at some point. Then I got Nightmare City by Andrew Clavin. It's from Thomas Nelson. He's had a couple, couple books. Like quite a few. There's a series. The Homelander series. They had book three in there. Um, and I'm pretty sure one of my friends has read that series, but I didn't want to start it. So I got a standalone that sounded interesting to give that a try first. And then I hit the jackpot when it comes to this author. Um, her books are kind of expensive, easy to find, but expensive. And I never want to spend that much on them for some reason, just because I'm not a big nonfiction reader. But I heard her speak one time and I love her. And the stuff that I have read from her, I love. So I picked up the three that I found 
that is uninvited by Lisa Turk Turk Turkhurst. I can never say this right. Uninvited, unglued, and becoming more than becoming more than a good Bible study girl. Got these three by her. Super excited because they were only 79 cents each. We will take it. And then I got a couple movies because those were cheap. So I got Body of Proof Season 1. This is a show that my family found years ago. I thought it'd be fun to have it in hard copies. Got Frozen. Um, yes, it's on Disney+. Plus, But again, hard copies. I love having hard copies of things. Even though I can get them digitally, digitally as well. Got Tinkerbell. Great Fairy Rescue. My sister loves Tinkerbell. So, super cute shirt for church. And this. This is so cute. Um, it's the alien from Toy Story. Because we're going to Disney in September. And I thought it would be fun to make it like a purse thing for Toy Story World. So, that's what I got. Pretty good haul from Goodwill. And on to the next place. out of the thrift store um they had quite a few books like they have lots of books there the ones that I did find though either I already have or I think they have like a minimum before you can use your card in there and I always forget about it and 50 cents is not gonna hit the minimum and I didn't find enough things to hit the minimum so I just put them back um so I didn't get anything from there but I always forget about this place I need to come more they have a bunch of cute things it's just a cute little like locally owned I think it's Christian um thrift store I don't know I always forget about it but it's here and they had some good ones some new ones some new Christian fiction releases that are were in perfect condition but I didn't have a reason I don't need to buy them I already own them so on to second and Charles that is my next stop some luck as second and Charles so got some goodies so I will show you I got this Mad Hatter tea um, as a gift for Sarah Ella adore that woman um, and her next book is a Alice in Wonderland retelling with Enclave comes out in 2022 so she's probably getting towards like her last little bit of it um, but I tried to do like a gift or gifts when she's publishing based around the books that she's done retellings of. So I started it, um, with Coral and I did a huge thing of all kinds of mermaid stuff, Little Mermaid, cause that's kind of what it was a retelling of Hans Christian Andersen's 
version of the Little Mermaid. Got her this. I've sent her something else. Um, Alice in Wonderland themed. So it just, it's a tradition that I've started for myself to do. I got this Present Darkness. It's the 10th anniversary edition by Frank Preddy. My mom adores this duology. It's this Present Darkness and Piercing the Darkness. She said that it completely changed her mind about spiritual warfare and the spiritual realms. So I got this for her to give to her as a gift. I'm gonna try to find Piercing the Darkness in the 10th anniversary edition, edition but I don't know if they did it. So regardless, they've had this edition here every time I've come since I've moved here and like found Second and Charles. I have never gotten it, but today I was like, you know what? I'm getting it for her, so. I don't know if I'll save it for Mother's Day, probably not, let's be real. I'm really bad about buying people gifts and then just giving them to them, so yeah. Then I got Colleen Coble's Silent Night, Holy Night. Um, this is a part of her Christmas novellas that she put into print. I have the red one. I don't remember what stories are in there, but I love Colleen Coble. So that one was only a couple dollars and I needed it. Then I got three by Ted Decker. My sister has a copy of this that she got a couple years ago, um, but the pages are ripped out of it in weird places. And my friend Jessie, talks about this book all the time is one of her favorite books of all time so I finally picked up a copy copy for myself and last but not least I got A Daring Sacrifice by Jodi Hedlund and this is a part of her YA series medieval something series I don't even know what the name of the series is it doesn't tell me okay well this series I have the first book um and I think this is the second one Again, it's another book that's been here for a while, and every time I look at it, I think about getting it, but just don't. So today I was like, you know what? Why not? So I did. And then now I have a nice second in Charles bag. Where I'm at, there's a Michaels, so I'm going to run in there because I am hosting a Mother's Day tea for our church, and um, I need to check out some decoration stuff. So I'm going to do that. And then I am going to probably go home, try to film my wrap up, um, and see what my dad is doing and see if we can get to doing the dog stuff before my meeting. But we shall see. That is that. On to Michael. Alrighty guys, I am finally home after running around and doing stuff. It is now time for my meeting. I am sitting at my desk. Hey! About to get myself ready for my meeting. I just had a late lunch with my dad and I am very full. So, oh, look, Arlo. There's my puppy dog. There's my puppy dog. Oh. My puppy dog. But yeah, I am going to be in a meeting a meeting with Amy Lynn Green, um, talking about some book stuff for her next release. I'm really excited about the meeting. I hope it goes well. If it does, it will point me in some nice next steps um, for some book stuff that I've been thinking and praying about. Hope the meeting goes well. I love Amy so much. She's a doll, and I'm excited. So that is what I'm going to do. After my meeting, I think my dad and I are going to take the dog to get his nails done and maybe get a bath. And then after that, I'm probably going to film my wrap up because I'm fancy and I have a ring light now so I can film anytime during the day, which is nice. Um, but it's been staying lighter longer. That I do love. That is that. I am rambling and so I'm going to get off now. I'm going to prepare myself for my call because it starts in a couple minutes and I will see you guys soon. It is a mess up here. Eesh. Okay. I'm really going to start now. A little bit of a check-in. Uh, it's been a while. My meeting with Amy went really well. I talked to her um, about becoming her VA for a few months. 
uh, for a VA is a virtual assistant. So essentially I would be helping her uh, prepare for her next launch in September uh, for her next book. So we talked about some of that stuff. I'm really excited about it. I've been thinking and praying about becoming a VA, which is what I talked about earlier. Um, so this is just kind of the steps in that direction and we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited to be doing it with Amy because I love her, know her enough where it's nice that I can kind of learn the ropes with her. Um, not super drastic, not a lot of stuff. So I'm excited about it. Unfortunately, I can't answer questions about being a VA since this is my first time around and it's not something that I can offer help on right now. So sorry, I'm still learning, but yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to learn, excited to add this to my book resume because I would love to be able to do my book stuff full time. So anywho, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, change my shirt because I'm wet. We took Arlo and got his nails done and then we took him and gave him a bath but we gave him the bath and it's the first time we've ever given him a, a bath at that place and I got wet so <laughs> I'm gonna change my shirt uh, throw my hair up uh, in a different style film my video and then after that I think my sister and I might be watching a video or a movie together so I think we might be watching Despicable Me, one of the movies that I got today at Goodwill. So that's my plan. I will catch up with you guys later. <laughs> I just got my um, wrap up video done. So yeah, now I just need to take my little hair down and um, I'm probably gonna grab my laptop and like upload it to the folder that I have with Jenna, um, my beautiful editor, I love her. And while I'm doing that, I'll probably see if my sister wants to watch a movie. And then I really need to clean my room. I need to put my books away from my video, but I also need to put the books that I bought today away. And I need to put up my setup, put my setup away. I got things to put away, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that now and I will check in with you guys later. Not a word was read today. Alrighty guys. <laughs> Look at Arlo. <laughs> We're watching our movie. We're going to watch Despicable Me eat our cereal together. With the puppers. And... Then I'll probably call it a night. So I will see you guys in the morning for the rest of the weekend. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. And happy Saturday. Another day. Another pair of glasses. Another hairstyle. <laughs> I am on my way to work. I work until 12. Maybe a little later. I'm not sure if we have a meeting today or not. But on my way to work. And then after that, I don't know what my plans are. So we'll find out together. Alrighty, talk to you guys later. Alrighty y'all, I'm back from another evening of running around. My dad and I went out and did a couple things. But one of the things we did was we stopped at Michael's and he was getting some frames. And I remembered that I have these prints that I got from How the Gal forever ago. Um, and I needed to get framed. So I bought frames while I was there as well. Super excited to finally have frames for my beautiful prints that I have from Hal. I adore her. She's the sweetest girl. I love her work. Um, so yeah, I have a Penelope print. I love her. I have a small Flynn and uh, Rapunzel. I have Giselle. This is an original, her original artwork. So you can see like all the pencil marks and stuff. It's pretty cool. I have that one. And then I have Zendaya's character from The Greatest Showman. I cannot remember her name for the life of me. Um, but yeah, she is also an original piece as well. So I have those four. And then I got some super cute frames for them. So cue the framing montage.
obsessed with how they came out. I love them and I cannot wait to hang them up. And it was totally worth the money. Um, frames were buy one get one free at Michael's. So it was 40 bucks to do all four. So super excited. I love them. I can't wait to hang them up. And now I need to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of my evening. Alrighty guys. Um, today was not as, um, video worthy as yesterday. Um, after work, I had a meeting that I totally forgot about. And then we stayed after and just kind of hung out, had lunch, that kind of thing. And then I came home. My dad and I went running around and we were out for a couple hours. Then I came home. You saw I did get the frames. So I framed my work from Hal. Hallie. Love it. Uh, and then I watched a movie with my sister again. And now I have prepared myself for bed. I'm going to hit the hay. Uh, we have church in the morning and tomorrow afternoon I think is going to be my reading day. So I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Good night. Alrighty, we're going to end the vlog right where we started it. It's like seven o'clock on Sunday. I know I didn't really do much today on this. Sorry, Sundays are really busy family days for me. Normally don't get much reading done. Didn't today. It's really like relax after church, which we had a really good service and then really good Mexican food afterwards. So overall, overall a really full day, um, really full weekend. I had a lot of fun, did some good family time, got out of the house. It was really nice, enjoyed the weather. So yeah, I think that's it. I uh, hope you guys had fun coming along the weekend with me, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye!